Minister of Tourism and Aviation, the Honorable Dionisio Diaglar, says the move by a number of major hotels to push back opening dates due to the COVID-19 pandemic didn't surprise the government. This is Bahama has pushed back its reopening indefinitely, while Atlantis announced that it will continue to evaluate its reopening timeline. We were well aware of, of um, the position of a number of the hotels. Um, clearly, uh, Bahama made an announcement in July that they would be opening on October the 1st. And when I had my press conference, I said we'd be opening on October the 15th. So obviously, we'd been in discussions with Bahama and with Atlantis. And we were well aware that um, they, they were not going to open on, certainly not on October the 1st. A number of those large hotels uh, indicated that uh, they wanted to wait until after the American election, possibly open just before Thanksgiving, possibly before Christmas. And we said, okay, fine, that's, that's fair enough. Um, but we're going to go ahead and announce on October the 15th to get the ball rolling. Now, Minister Diaglar also responded to comments from Bahama President Graham Davis, who told ZNS News in an interview which aired on the Bahamas tonight last evening that the resort can't reconcile restricted movement with the vacation experience guests are seeking. Any, any time that you have to uh, um, be in a particular place for up to 14 days, it's not as long as 14 days, um, people are going to see that as a problem. So, for example, the Dominican Republic today, on the 15th of September, is opening up their entire country to no testing and no quarantine. Uh, Mexico presently has that. And so those are, that's what the competition is doing. Uh, but I don't think we are prepared to uh, go to the extent that they have to open their economy. So, you know, we're working with our public health officials to see what is feasible. Um, Graham Davis is probably right um, if I'm thinking about traveling to a destination.